Let's talk about vRealize Suite and vCloud Suite licensing changes. Stay tuned. Welcome, Travis Lawrence with Arrow. Let's talk vRealize Suite and vCloud Suite licensing. So first off, a high level agenda, why are changes important? We'll discuss that a bit. Why do these changes matter to you as resellers and what they mean for your customers? Uh, two, what are the changes? Let's talk through a few use cases and scenarios that that I get from a question perspective and that our inside sales teams get. Uh, what, what are common questions and how do we resolve those with the new licensing model? And thirdly, and then where can you learn more? Most importantly, we wanna provide a high level overview, but there are some things that we can't necessarily share here. Uh, what are some ways that you can dig into this a bit more, engage with our teams and learn a bit more uh, going forward? So first off, why are changes to licensing important? As, as many of you know, if you have customers that and you engage with uh, around VMware on a regular basis, uh, questions will arise. And for you to be that trusted advisor, uh, it's really important to be able to have a, a simple and effective answer to these questions. So while I, I, I think some of these changes at first seem difficult, overall I think VMware's doing a great job of changing the licensing scheme and making it easier for us to, to add and upgrade and provide the solutions that customers need going forward. Um, and ultimately that's what this will do, allow customers to more easily add to their vSphere Enterprise Plus licensing and add that vRealize Suite and vCloud Suite functionality on top of that. So let's get into some of the scenarios that we see. So on a daily basis, our inside sales team and myself, we work to, to really help you as reseller partners answer a lot of these questions. And with these new licensing changes, there's been a lot that, a lot of questions that have really come up. So the, first, the one that comes up first and foremost is really, if I have a customer that has Enterprise Plus, how do they upgrade to vCloud Suite? And to look at this, we kind of contrast that with how it's been done in the past. I mean, you may say, well, this is fairly straightforward, isn't it? I mean, in the past, we'd go look at, take our price list and do a search maybe on Enterprise Plus, uh, Upgrade, and vCloud Suite, and that would give us a SKU back that would say, well, this SKU upgrades from Enterprise Plus to, to vCloud Suite. But in the new licensing model, we run into an issue. If you run that similar search with the new on a new price list, you won't come up with anything. And the, and the reasoning for that is, is we, we kind of have to take a step back and think of this in a, in a new way. V VMware has simplified this, I believe, but for me, I, I think we look at this in a way of sort of like a math equation where we have vSphere Enterprise Plus plus vRealize Suite equals vCloud Suite. So they're kind of separate components when we uh, interlock them or join them together become vCloud Suite. And at first that kind of seems like a foreign concept, but as we think of it, it really simplifies the process because then we, we do away with a lot of the other upgrade SKUs and it really simplifies or thins down the number of SKUs that we've had to deal with in the past. So say we have a customer that comes to us and they have Enterprise Plus licensing today and they want to upgrade to vCloud Suite. Well, in the past, we may have looked for that actual upgrade SKU, but in this case, all we need to do is add a standalone version of, of vRealize Suite to that product to equal vCloud Suite. So they come and they say, we want vCloud Suite Enterprise, then all we do is find the SKU for vRealize Suite Enterprise. That in conjunction with their Enterprise Plus licensing gives them vCloud Suite. Or what about a scenario where we have a customer that asks to upgrade from Enterprise Plus to vRealize Suite? And this one's a bit tricky in that scenario because Ultimately, there's, there's not an upgrade SKU for that. All we're gonna do in that scenario is add vRealize Suite onto Enterprise Plus, and that gives the customer what they're asking for. Ultimately, they actually end up with vCloud Suite if they have Enterprise Plus. So again, we're always going back to that, that equation, as it were, of vSphere Enterprise Plus plus some version of vRealize Suite equals vCloud Suite. So if you have customers thinking, oh, well, the end game is vRealize Suite, if they have Enterprise Plus and they add vRealize Suite to it, they end up with vCloud Suite. If they have vSphere Standard and they add vRealize Suite, it, at that point it isn't technically vCloud Suite, but they can still do that and, and have that functionality of vRealize Suite on top of a standard vSphere license. 
Um, traditionally, we've just seen the path really go from Enterprise Plus as kind of that jumping off point because of the advanced functionality like distributed switches and whatnot in that base license. And then customers kind of move along the path to add the components in vRealize Suite like VR Ops and vRealize Automation and, and those other pieces. So you're going to hear this over and over, probably for me and, and from others. But again, vSphere Enterprise Plus plus some version of vRealize Suite equals vCloud Suite. Another question we get a lot of is around Site Recovery Manager and Configuration Manager in vCloud Suite version 7. So in vCloud Suite version 6, those of you familiar with that, um, included Configuration Manager and Site Recovery Manager in the vCloud Suite Enterprise versions. But as of vCloud Suite version 7, those products are no longer included. Uh, <clears throat> going forward, those are standalone SKUs, and really the, the logic behind this from VMware's point of view, at least from an SRM perspective, is disaster recovery isn't always tied to those vSphere or vCloud suite license purchases. So a customer may have a project for a particular business use, they want to buy vCloud suite enterprise. At that point, they may or may not need disaster recovery for that entire group of hosts. Or in, in, even if they need DR, they need it for a subset of hosts and they may not want to have that SRM licensing tied to those CPU licenses. So again, going forward for vCloud Suite version 7, Site Recovery Manager is not included in that licensing. So a customer um, may purchase that licensing and there is a discount included in, in the new licensing. So if a customer had that previously, now they can buy SRM as a separate offering and with those saved dollars and bring that into play. Similarly with Configuration Manager, that product is being uh, reworked and sort of rolled into VR Ops, so that is not included as it was in vCloud Suite version 6. So again, if you have questions around this, we can get into more detail, we can find out more, but uh, the, the main one that kind of tags along with that is, well, what about customers that had vCloud Suite and used these products in previous versions? When they move forward with that, those licenses will still be included because they purchased them before this licensing change was made, but those will be broken out separately. So they'll have SRM and Configuration Manager licenses that are separate license keys moving forward so they can keep track of those separately and don't have to try to manage those as part of the vCloud Suite Enterprise offering. One of the other questions we get, uh, have gotten a lot recently is about the version numbers in vCloud Suite version 7. So there's some confusion around this when we rev the, the version of the suite itself, does that mean that all the underlying products in the suite are also rev to version 7 by meaning moving from 6.x to 7.x? And the short answer to that is no, they're not. Not all of the products within the suite are that version. And for you as partners, the easiest way to actually look at this, or customers can do this as well, is to actually log into the My VMware portal. And from there, you can see the most current version of each of these software groups. So if you look at, uh, if a customer goes in or if you go into myvmware.com and look at software downloads and vCloud Suite or vRealize Suite, it will actually show the most current version of each of those products once you drill into the download links for each of those bundles. So from there you can look at vRealize Automation and find out that that's version 7.x or vRealize Business is version 7.x and similarly see that VR Ops is not 7.x, it's 6.x. So uh, the suite, the overall suite numbering or naming convention doesn't necessarily mean that all those products have uh, incremented in that way. So um, similarly, we'll see per customers that, that have seen that the vCloud Suite version 7 and they want the standalone offering of some of these products in version 7. Well, that's a simple way for us to answer that and, and to keep up to date with these. I mean, VMware is great about making new changes and, and re releasing new software versions for each of these that it's hard to keep up with those. So that's, that's a very easy way to do that. Uh, similarly, th this is a way for us to, for customers that want to downgrade or use an older version of VMware products such as vCloud Suite or more particularly VR Ops version 5.8, um, SRM 5.8, what have you, vSphere, older versions of vSphere, they can go into that portal and select from a dropdown uh, the older versions of those products and VMware will provide the supported versions of those products. Um, it is also always important to double check that in those scenarios um, that you as resell reseller partners help make sure your customers understand when end of support is, end of life is for current, current VMware products. And if they do use older versions, uh, that they make sure that they line up with those. And if you have additional questions around that, we're glad to help 
uh, point you to the right in the right direction for each of those pieces and help your customers understand when is the end of support. I understand it's not always easy to upgrade your environment to latest and greatest. We want to make sure you're on a stable version uh, of a product. So there's easy ways for us to find that also within the VMware portal. So finally, where can you find out more about these licensing changes? So number one is a partner of VMware and Aero. VMware Partner Central is a great place for us to find more information about that. So as kind of foundational information, there are a lot of resources for partners and particularly for this, there is, are three great sessions under VM Live. So if you go to Partner Central, VM Live Archive, there are three different video sessions and one of those pertains to vCloud Suite and vRealize Suite licensing changes. So that is directly WebEx sessions, recorded WebEx sessions with the VMware licensing team around these product sets and they go into a lot more detail around those. So that's a good way to get some foundation around this. But obviously as an Aero partner, uh, you also have access to our inside sales team. So they're the ones that are really in the trenches day to day doing the quotes, understanding a lot about these licensing scenarios and what the differences are. So I am always working with them. They're working with me trying to provide feedback and we provide feedback to VMware around this. So first off, start with them, ask them the questions. We'll do our best to get you those answers and provide you more information like this. And as always, reach out to me, uh, tlawrence at arrow.com or at tllawrence on Twitter. And again, we'll work through these scenarios. A lot of this being partner level licensing information. This is really meant to be an overview video. We can't get into a lot of the nuts and bolts of that because uh, in a public forum like this, but I will post more information. I'll post links for the VM live sessions or at least information on how you can get to those in Partner Central because they are a bit tricky to find. So you can find out more there. But as always, reach out to me, reach out to our inside sales team and we'll help you with those questions and, and find you answers with either related to these licensing changes, the other vSphere licensing changes, or other product or technical information. So please subscribe for additional content or reach out to me via email or on Twitter. And thanks again for joining us today.